Hey guys, here's another project we're getting started on. It's a demo of a boathouse on the dock. We got to get that tore out. I actually built this one back in 2007. Got one of the old DMC signs right there on the dock, if you can see it. <laughs> but uh, we're getting that tore out. We got another uh, dock and boathouse going back in. Got half of the roof off. We're gonna work on the other side. We're working on getting the dock disconnected also. So hopefully right after lunch, a few hours or so. We'll have this thing knocked down and get ready to get started back with a new one. Up that trash, Gallon. Come on, Gat. Bring you down to the house. A lot of trash on this boathouse. Majority of it tore down. Decided about getting this thing out and get started on a new one tomorrow. That's my son. Come on, gal. You ready to go home? Got the boathouse taken down, put on the barge, hauled up to the boat ramp, taking what we can to the reclaim center. The rest of it gets taken to the dump. We've got us a clean slate here now. Getting ready to lay this out and have the customer meet down here in a little bit just to make sure we're getting the right line of what he wants as far as his dock and I believe it's going to be going out to this trajectory right through here. Gatlin says what's up? What's up Gatlin? Yeah. Incognito string marker. <laughs> Guys, doing with your floaties on today? Hold on, I gotta go find my hammer. <laughs> I can swim now. Good job. <laughs> Man, I hope you ain't coming up underneath that barge. Good project. 
good progress on this project. We started three days ago. We got all the poles set, lift poles set, boathouse poles set, and dock framed up and just about decked out. Got all the scaffolding installed this morning. You see up there on the boathouse. Got all the poles leveled up, got it installed. We're getting ready to start notching the pilings to start putting the roof band up. Hopefully we'll have a good productive day today. Got a good sized crew out here today to get it done. Got all the rafters up, got the fascia on, the straps on top of the uh, plywood, or actually straps on top of the rafters, and hurricane clips on. Guys are laying the plywood now, should have that completed and hopefully shingled by the end of the day. Good job, guys. Got an extreme high tide right now from that hurricane going up on the uh, west coast of uh, Florida. Pushing a lot of water up in here. Somebody wants to be brought to his attention. These pulleys are absolutely out. You see that? There's no, no shiv in it on the inside of it all. Get a shot of Smiles, our videographer. Get up from behind Paul and Carson, <laughs> the main main boat driver we got. <laughs> Don't be shy. Yeah. So what is he doing now, Dale? Well, it's a it's called an employee error. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people have those, but it's uh, actually extra work we get to do because we did it wrong the first time. When we put the, you can see the cables crisscross right there. That cable actually has to go down straight back up, not crisscross or rub against itself. So he's gonna take that pulley out. Hold on, Carson, I probably need to take some tension off that again. Is it tight? Yeah. 
I'll lift, I've got the Traco hooked to it now so I can lift that I-beam up. Mm -hmm. Once I lift that I-beam up, you can take that pulley out, untwist that cable so the cable hangs straight up and down, we'll put that pulley back in. Hopefully in doing all that over the water, Carson's not going to drop in the water, because if he does, then we'll get a video of Carson diving down. <laughs> that would be lit. Up. Should I go ahead and drop it so he gets in the water? No, no, I don't think we should do it this time. Maybe next time, though. It would be, it would be good. Maybe, maybe next time. It would be good. <laughs> it would be good for views. Oh, yeah. Fully dropped, fully in the water. Good thumbnail. Okay, there you go. I like to also put the Zerk, you see it's got a Zerk bolt on there where you can grease it. You see a little hole right there in the middle. Allows grease to come out to lubricate that pulley. And you can see that's a new pulley on there because the one that we took out, you saw previously in the video also, that the pulleys were wore out. And there's like a two inch hole in there where this section here was actually wore out. Let's sunk down again here. Hold that, I'm gonna pick it up. Okay, come down low. Down low soon. I gotta pick the tractor up a little bit. <laughs> you okay, Carson? I'm straight, dog. <laughs> All right. We'll pucker back in there. All right, so now we got the pulley back in there, and I was saying I like the Zerk bolt fit face outside so it's easy to service it. You can get a grease gun right to it. That's good now. I'll go ahead and put that nut on there, tighten it up. We're good to go. Thanks, Miles, for your excellent videography. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Doc. We just completed on Bayi Tahar. It's uh, there was an old boathouse here, which you've seen previously in the video that I built back in the uh, shoot 2006, 2005 area. But uh, it was it definitely seen its prime. It's time to replace it. So went back with some new six-inch pilings. Everything's at least eight to ten foot in the ground. Uh, two by eight cross ties, two by eight stringers, and two by six framing. All stainless steel screws and uh, hot dip galvanized hardware. You see, we top it off with some nice, pretty piling caps. Come on out here, let's take a look at it, check it out. Got Smiles, my videographer today, holding the camera. He's doing the video for me. You can see inside the, uh, you can see inside the boathouse, we've uh, got a used lift. It's not a new lift, it's the lift the customer had. He wanted to reuse that lift, so we went ahead and took his lift out, reinstalled it back in the lift. And he also purchased a four piling lift from one of our customers, and we installed that for him over here also to save him a good bit of money. But uh, the lift hasn't been leveled up yet. We still got to get power to it and get everything working over there. See out here on the outside, we've got a, um, it was a 14 by 14 foot platform, really nice platform lounge chairs laid out on, sunbathe and all that. If you look up inside the boathouse smiles real quick, you can see how clean the boathouse is. There's really nowhere for pigeons to roost up there or doves to roost up there. Also, we leave our collar ties really high up in the uh, ceiling for getting the uh, bimini's and uh, t-tops tucked up inside there. It keeps the sun off the boat and all that. Looks good. What do you think, smiles looks good? Yes, sir, I like that. All right, guys, I appreciate you uh, checking out our videos, and we got plenty more coming. We're getting started on some more projects right now. We actually got another online boardwalk to build where I busted through that sewer line, but this time we're calling 811 Dig to get, <laughs> <laughs> get the sewer line spotted. I'm not going to stay out there until 10 30 at night again and pay a bunch of money to get a sewer line fixed that I didn't spot ahead of time. Of course, I never thought a sewer line would be in the backyard 10 foot away from, from the bayou. It don't make a whole lot of sense to me. Does if you would give me a subscribe if you like what you see all my guys appreciate that and uh, leave us a comment and uh, keep on watching thanks